All right, 226, equipment, installation, instruction. The paving machine includes several separate attachments that may be decommodated with different pavement and widths. Attachments include cutoff sheets to reduce the paving width from six to eight, eight feet to six feet. An auger layer fender extension to extend the paving to 12 feet. And the auger fender extension with the screed extends to further expand the pavement to a six feet, 16 feet. When the installation cutoff sheet with the extension bolt cutoff is an unequal amount of extension must be added to each side of the paving machine. Play, no, play, no. Play spacers are installed between the screed plate with the screw frame and the, ensure the smoothness and level of asphalt may made level of the plane, um, maintain plate scra scrapers. Plate spacers in position at the time of the screed plate extension to remove the install of the critical pl um, to a smooth asphalt mat prevention screed plate alignment. When installation of the screed plate when installation of screen extensions, extreme care must be taken to ensure that the plates or spacers are on the screen plate are not allowed to fall off the screen plate during the removal. And the plate spacers are not maintained with on the stub. The fully screen alignment must be performed in the unit maintenance. Um, and also ensure that the plate spacers and screen plate and extension and keep that kept um, on the same studs during the installation since these um, plate spacers were installed during the screen plate alignment. A complete listing and attachment of found in the appendix B with the components and item uh, 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 end item and the procedures installing the equipment will be, um, address one side of the end uh, one side of the paving machine only. The procedure must be performed again again on the opposite side of the tools required to install the equipment that are located in the toolbox paving machine listed in basic item issue list appendix B paragraph three three one the toolbox in accessible instructions. No, the equipment installation instructions same both the left and right side of the paving machine. The illustrations show the illustrations on the right side of the paving machine. 2261 cutoff shoe insulation tape width of 6 to 8 feet. Uh, one set of the one foot cutoff shoes must be installed within paving machine. The cutoff shoes mount on the inside of the end gate, um, each end gate, and are supported with the chain fastened on the strike, uh, strike off plate. Start the paving machine, place the throttle in the max position. Screed lift position, strut throttle control switch. Release the, um, place the screed lift and switch up position, raise the position, raise the screed, the screed fell fully up. Full extend both left and right extension screed, paragraph 219. Place the wood support box on, eight, on, on under each of the end of the main screed. Wood supports must be 9 inches high. Ensure the speed travel lock button is in open. The speed can travel is locked while well. play for the screed. Lift the switch in the down and float or position the local the screed until the screed rests on the wooden block. Shut down the paving machine per paragraph 211. Steps A through G. Install the cutoff shoes. One and gate using the washers. Two walk washers. Three hex nuts. Four attach the chain. Five the hook uh, on the strike off. Start the paving machine, paragraph 210, play for the throttle control switch and max position, screw lifted switch and throttle control switch. Place the screw lift switch and um, lift switch uh, up raised position, play for the um, screw to fully open, remove the wooden support blocks under each end of the main screen, retract both on the left, right, and extension screws per paragraph 219. Insert screw travel lock is open, place the screw lift switch into the, uh, the, uh, the down float position, lower the screw until the screw rests on the ground, shut down the paving machine, paragraph 211, step through A through G. All right, cut off shoe removal. Starting the paper machine, paragraph 210. Play for the cutoff control switch and the, to the max screed, screed control, screed lift switch to the cutoff control switch. Place the screed lift switch in the up to the, to the raised position. Raise the screed fully up, fully extend both left and right extension screed per paragraph 219. Play for the wooden block, so, um, support blocks under each end of the main screed. Wooden supports must be nine inches high. Ensure the speed travel lock is valve is open. Um, screed travel the lock valve. Um, position screed the light lift switch to the down the, the position lower the screed until the screed. Um, rest on the wooden block, shut down the paving machine, paragraph 211, the steps A through G, remove the chain 5 from the hook over the strike shaft. Remove the hex nuts 4, lock washers 3, flat washers 2, and cut off shoe 1. Install the removed hardware back on the back, on the cut off shoe with storage start, and start the moving paving machine, paragraph 210, move the throttle control to the max. Switch, screed, screed, lift, switch, switch, and throw control switch. Place the screed, lift, switch in the up position, raise the position, raise the screed fully up. Remove the wooden support blocks from under each end of the main screed. Replace, retract both the left and right extract extension screed per paragraph 219. Ensure screen travel lock valve is open. Um, screen travel lock valve. Place the screen level of switch in the down to the down float position. Lower the screen until the screen rests on the ground. Shut the down the paving machine. Paragraph 211. Steps A through G. 226.3. One foot auger fender extension installation. Note the equipment installation instructions same both left and right side of the paving machine. Illustration shown with the illustration on the right side of the paving machine. So the paving width of 10 and 12 foot. Now the one foot auger fender extension must be installed with the both side of the paving machine. The one foot auger fenders must be compared to the permanent left auger and fender from the right auger. Auger and fender. Ensure the spiral direction auger extension assembles match with the mate that mating the auger shaft. Failure to install the correct auger extension on the correct side of the paving machine will cause the paving material to build up the auger chamber and not move the paving material out of the front of the screeder. 
Caution, the after installation with the one foot auger fender extension extreme caution must be taken to retract the screen extension into the auger's feet or extension damage to the end gate will result in the end gate will retract too far. To reduce paving width between 12 foot and 10 foot, carefully retract the extension creed, obtain the desired paving width, start the paving machine, paragraph 210, place the throttle control switch to the max, the screw sheet, screed lift switch and the throttle control switch, place the screed lift shift in the raise up position, raise the screed shift fully up, fully extend both left and right and right, screed extension paragraph 219, place the wooden support blocks under each of the main screen, wooden supports must be 9 inches high and screed, ensure the screed lift travel lock valve is open, screed travel lock valve, place the screed lifting switch in the switch in the drum float the position lower the screen until the screen rests on the wooden blocks switch down the paving machine paragraph 211 steps a and through g match up the light in your left and right of one for one foot auger steps with the correct left and right side mating auger shaft visually match the spiral at each of the one foot auger extension main auger shaft with the both left and right side the direction of the spiral should be moved matter material or outward for the center of the machine Place one foot auger extension with the mounting of the hardware with the in um light um flights and oriented with the same direction mounting hardware with the mating auger shaft the inch spiral with the auger flight does not match the mating auger shaft the one foot auger extension may be compared belonging to the opposite side. The direction of the spiral left hand auger extension, right hand auger extension, auger mounting hardware. Move the hex nut one, lock washer two, hex head cap screw three with the end screwing shaft cover, um, shaft cover four. Remove the shaft cover. These parts will be reinstalled with the auger extension shaft. Let, locate the female and auger extension assembly five. Remove the hex nut six, lock washer seven, shaft cover eight, flat washer nine, and hex head cap uh, hex head cap screw in ten. Auger adjusting extension must be installed with the same spiral direction with the ma mating auger shaft. The um, failure to install the auger extension properly will cover the poor distribution paving material along with the length of the screen and result in poor paving. Rotate the auger extension so the mounting hardware auger fl flights is oriented with the same direction mounting hardware and same mating auger shaft, ensuring the spiral direction of auger flights match the spiral direction of the mating auger shaft. All right. This install the female car end of the auger extension assembly five. The male end of the mating auger shaft um, using hex head cap screw ten lock wash flat washer nine shaft cover eight lock washer seven hex nut six install co shaft cover four hex nut hex head, head cap screw three lock washer two hex nut one remove the hex nut eleven washer twelve hex head cap screw thirteen extension fender fourteen install extension fender fourteen using hex head cap thirteen screws. Flat washer 12, hex nut 11, start paving machine paragraph 2 of 10. Place the throttle on the squ um, switch control switch max. Um, place the switch, screed lift in the switch on the raise in the position. Um, raise the screed fully up. Move the wooden support blocks from underneath each for the main screed. Caution. Use scatter retraction um, extension speed with the one foot auger fender extensions installed. Maximum retraction is two foot on each side of damage. And gates will result extension screeds while are retracted too far. Retract both left and right extension screeds per paragraph 219. Ensure, um, ensure screed travel valve lock is open. P place the screed lift switch in, in the d to the down float position. Lower the screed until the screed rests on the ground. Shut down the paper machine. Paragraph 211, percepts A through G. All right, 226.4, one foot auger and fender extension. Remove the start of the paper machine. 210, move the throttle control switch. The maximum screed lift switch in the upper raised position. Screw the fill. It's fully up. Fully extend both on left and right extension. Screw paragraph 219. Play for the um, wood, wood support blocks on even the each end of the main screen. Wood support must be 9 inches high. Ensure the screen travel block valve is open. Play for the screen lift switch down float position. Lower the screen until the screen rests on the wooden block. Shut down the paving machine. Paragraph 211 steps A through G. Move the hex nut 11 and flat washer 12 with the head, head cap, hex head cap screw 13. Remove the extension fenders 14. Move the hex head cap screws float washers hex nuts extension fender mounting bolts after removal. Move the hex nut lock washers to the hex head with the cap screw and shaft cover four at the end of the auger extension shaft. Move the hex nut lock six lock washer seven the shaft cover the eight flash wa flat washer and nine. Move the hex head cap screw with the auger extension assembly five and release the hex head cap screw flat washer shaft cover lock washer hex nut two and the auger extension assembly after removal. Install shaft cover four on the main auger shaft using the hex head cap screw three lock washer two the hex nut one. Start the paving machine per paragraph two ten. Play with the control switch in the maximum position. Um, replace the screed lift switch in the up and raised position. Place the raise the screed fully up. Remove the wooden support blocks for under each of the main screed and retract both the right and extension screeds per paragraph 219. Extend, ensure screed travel the lock valve is open. Place the screed switch in that level to the down from position lower the screed until the rest on the ground. Shut down the paving machine. Paragraph 211 steps A through G. 226.5. The two foot auger foot fender extension. 
Equipment and installation instruction at the side of the bolt and left of the right side of the pavement machine. Illustration show the illustration of installation right side of the pavement machine. Two pavements with 12 and 14 feet. The two foot auger fender extension must be installed with the bolt side of the pavement machine. The two foot auger and fender extension must be compared with the determined left auger and right fender and the right auger of the fender extension. Let me sure the spiral direction of the auger extension assembly. Merits of mating auger shaft. The failure to install the correct uh, auger and fender extension to the correct side of the paving machine will cause um, paving material to build up in the auger chamber and to move the material in the um, and not move the material out of the front of the screen. Two persons are required to install the two-foot auger and fender extension. After installation of the two-foot auger and extension, extreme caution must be taken to retract the screen extension from the auger. The fender extension, the damage to the end gate will result in the, if the end gate is retracted too far. Uh, reduce the paving width from between 14 foot and 12 foot. Carefully retract the extension grid to obtain the desired um, paving width. Start the paving machine. Play for the throttle controls maximum. Place the screed lift in the up and right position. Play for the screeds fully up. Put fully extend both left and right extension screeds to the per paragraph 219. Place wooden support box under each of the end main screed. One bar wood supports must be 9 inches high. Ensure the screed travel lock valve is open. Um, place the screed left switch end to the down float position lower than the screed until the screed rests on the wooden blocks. Shut down the paving machine. Paragraph 211 through A, through steps A through G. First, and first identify left and right two foot auger fender extension. Then solve the left two extension bender. It has a bearing mounted on the outboard left side of the extension. The right two foot extension of the bearing mounted on the outboard right side of the extension. Remove the hex nut one, not well, a lock washer two, hex, 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 hex cap screw securing the shaft cover four. Remove shaft. Cover these parts below and you're installed with the auger shaft. All right, auger extension must be installed with the same spiral direction of the main auger shaft. Failure to install the auger extension properly will cover the proper distri and poor distribution of the paving material along the length of the screen and result in poor paving. All right, K, rotate the auger extension to extension on the two-foot auger fender extension 10 so the mounted hardware cap screw heads of the auger flights and oriented the same direction. Um, as the auger flight mounting hardware cap screw mounting auger with the shaft the spiral direction auger flights are, um, match the spiral direction mating auger shaft. Move the hex nux 5, lock washer 6, shaft cover the 7 of the flat washer 8, and the hap, ca, ha, hex head cap screw 9 from the end of the auger extension shaft. Move the hex nut, the hex nut 13, flat washer 12, the hex head cap screw 11, then with the 2 foot auger the hand, fender extension 10 with the hardware mounting location mountings. All right, to avoid personal injury, do not attempt to lift and install the two-foot auger with a fender extension alone. Two-foot auger with a fender extension weighs approximately 120 pounds. Always use a second person to help to hold the two-foot extension in place during the installation. Fair to say may result in serious injury. With help of the second person, install the two-foot auger fender extension 10 female end of the male end of the mating auger shaft. Align the two-foot auger extension fender with a mounting surface on the paving machine the mainframe. Install the hex head cap screw 11 flat washer 12 hex nut 13 and attach the auger with a fender extension 10 with the fender maintain the um, fending, um, frame of the ma ma um, paving machine. Install the hex head cap screw 9 flat washer 8 shaft cover 7 slack washer 6 hex nut 5 tighten the hex nut install the shaft cover the 4 with the youth hex cut cap cut screw 3 with lock washer 2 hex nut 1 tighten the hex nut start the paving machine paragraph 210. Place the throttle and max, switch maximum. Place the lifting screed uh, and lift, lift screw, the screed lift and switch into the raised position. Screed is fully up. Move the wooden support blocks for each for the end of the main um, screed. Use care and retraction extension speed. Spread the two foot auger fender extension installed. Maximum retraction one foot on each side. Damage to the end gates will result. Extension screed is retracted too far. Retract both left and right extension screeds per paragraph 219. Ensure the screed, the screed travel lock valve is open. Place the screed lift um, switch down in the float position. Lower the screed until the screed rests on the ground. Shut down the paving machine. Paragraph 211 steps A through G. Alright, 226.6. Two foot auger and fender extension. Removal of two, foot, two persons required to move the two foot auger and fender extension. Start the paving machine. Play with the control swallow switch and max. Place the screed lift switch in the raised position. Place the screed fully up. Fully extend both left and right extension screed. Paragraph 219. Place the wood support under the, each of the main screed. Wooden supports must be 9 inch high. Ensure the screed travel lock is open. Place the screed left switch, lift switch to the down float position. Lower the screed until the screed rests on the wooden block. Shut down the paving machine. Paragraph 211 steps A through G. Remove the hex nut 1, lock washer 2, hex head cap screw 3, with the shaft cover 4, end of the Helga extension shaft. Remove the hex cut and nut 5, lock washer 6, shaft cover 7, the flat washer 8, hex head cap number screw 9. Warning to avoid personal injury, do not attempt to lift the remove of the two foot auger with the fender extension alone. The two foot auger with the fender extension weighs approximately 120 pounds. I'll wait for the second person to help to hold the two foot extension during the removal of the fairy to do so, may result in serious injury. 
With help of another person, remove the hex nut, 13 flat washer, 12 with the hex head cap screw, 11 with the two foot auger, the fender extension, 10 with the replace the hex head cap screw, flat washer, hex head nut, and the two foot auger, fender extension mounting as our holes are for after removal. Place the hex head cap screw, 9 flat washer, 8 the shaft cover, 7 the lock washer, 6 hex nut, 5 on the two foot auger, the fender extension, angular shaft after removal. Install the shaft cover, 4 on the main auger shaft using the hex head cap screw, 3 with lock washer, 2 and hex nut, 1 start the paving machine, paragraph 210, play for the crowd control and maximum. Place Place the screed lift switch in the raised position. Place the screed fully up and move the wooden support with under each of the main screed. Retract them both light and right extension screeds per paragraph 219. Or ensure the screed travel the lock as valve is open. Place the screed switch in the down float position. Lower the screed until the screed is on the ground. Um, sh the screed lift switch shut down the paving machine. Paragraph 211, steps A through G. 22607, bolt on screed insulation. Note the equipment insulation is strictly the same with the bolt of the left of the right side of the paving machine. The insulation show the insulation in insulation of the right side of the paving machine. To pave the width of 14, 16 feet with a foot, one foot auger fender extension and the two foot auger fender extension must be installed on the bolt side of the paving machine. This Result of the total of three foot auger with the tender extension both sides of the baby machine. Although this may be, um, must be an extension added to the screed frame, uh, frame of the screed and bolt plate and both on the side of the paving machine. The end gate must be um, removed in, or insulation with the screed frame, screed frame extension, screed paving extension reinstalled with after extension is bolt installed. Both one foot and two foot augers fender extension must be compared with the determined if the left auger fender extension from the right auger fender extension screed, screed frame. Extension screen plate extension will only fit on the left or the right side with the not interchangeable. Ensure the spiral director shown with the auger extension assembly match those of the mating auger shaft. Failure to install the correct auger fender extension on the correct side of the paving machine will cause the paving material to build up auger chamber. Not move the paving material out from the screen. The two persons are required to install the bolt on screen extension. All right, caution, do not move the one-foot screed plate with the inch of the plate screed um, spacer of the round with the stud screen, screen with screen the screed plate with the frame with the not allowed to move flat fall from the stud. The plate screw with the move with the air, air initial plate position and on um, the screed plate, screed plate with the fully screed alignment with required no, um, non-insulation one-foot screed plate with modified your supervisor unit maintenance during the removal of the bolts with the stud of the extension screed plate. Do not allow the plate screed to move fall off the stud if the plate screws move in the ins uh, from the insulation on the extension screed plate during the preparation insulation fully screed shipment or required notify your supervisor and unit maintenance. After the insulation of the two-foot auger extension, extreme caution must be taken not to retract the screen extension from the auger. The fender's extension dam of the end gate will resolve the end gate is retracted too far to reduce the paving from between 16 foot and 14 foot. Carefully retract the extension screen to save this um, desired paving width. Start the paving machine, paragraph 2 of 10. Replace the bottom and max position. Place the screed level switch and raise the position. Place for the fully. Raise fully. Fully extend the both right and extension screed for the paragraph 219. Place wood support blocks under each end of the main screed. Wooden supports must be 9 inches high. Ensure the travel on block is open. Um, place the screed lift on the down float position. Lower the screed until the screed rests on the wooden block. Shut down the paving machine. Paragraph 211 steps A through G. Unscrew and disconnect the feed limit switch connector for the rear wall of the tractor. Remove the end gate assembly with the following step with the release of the end gate head and level the two and the lower end gate from a warning to avoid personal injury. Do not attempt to lift and remove the end gate. End gates weigh approximately 126 pounds. Chief the second person to help with the remove the end gate. Failure to do so will result in serious injury. All right, unhook the chain four with the end gate hand, lever to two with the help of the hand, another person that allow the end gate three to lower the enough end gate mounting lab um, tab, tab and clear with the extension screen frame with the six for during the removal of the end gate, end gate support arm seven. Move the hex now eight, lock washer nine, and flat washer ten with the cylinder and extension um, rod eleven. Well, with the help of the second person to support the end gate support arm seven, remove the self locking nut twelve, flat washer thirteen, hex now head cap screw fourteen, and spacer fifteen. Or remove the hex head cap screw 16 with the flat washer 17 to cover the end gate support um, 7 extension screen frame 6. To avoid um, warning to avoid personal injury, do not attempt to lift and remove the end gate support and the gate alone. End gate support alone arm and end gate weighs approximately 126 pounds. Use the second person to lift, um, the, uh, remove the end gate support arm and end gate with them the screen extension frame. The failure to do so may result in serious injury. All right, with the help of another person, lift the end gate support arm and end gate three um, from the extension screen frame and lay the flat on the ground out of the way. Replace the flat washer, the with the lock washer nine, hex screw eight, and on the cylinder extension rod 11, tighten the hex nine. Remove the hex head cap screw 18 with the lock washer 19, remove the cover plate 20. 
All right, caution. Do not, during removal of the oh, outer extension screen plate, do, during removal of the outer extension screen plate, extensure the space within the plate and um, the spacers around the stud, securing the screen plate when the frame is not allowed to move the fall from the stud. Spacer and plate spacers are moved and not returned to the initial position on the screen and plate. A fully screen alignment is required for the installation of the outer extension screen plate. All right, um... Remove the outer extension screen plate 21 on the removing self lock mount flash washer 23. The cut it lower and remove the extension screen plate. If the screen plate spacers fall off the extension screen plate and cannot be replaced, the original position of full screen alignment must be done, um, performed when installed. The secure um, spacer 24 and 25 plate. Scraper 26 on the removed outer extension screen plate 21. Flat washer 23 and self locking nose 22. Warning. Warning, to avoid personal injury, do not attempt to lift and install the bolt on screen extension frame alone with the bottom screen extension frame weighs approximately 42 pounds with the second person to help lift and install the bottom bolt on screen extension frame with the extension of the main screen frame with the failure to do so may result in serious injury. And install the bolt screen extension frame and using the following steps. Avoid personal injury. Do not attempt to lift and install the bolt on screen, um, screen extension plate alone. Bolt on screen extension plate that weighs approximately 57 pounds. Use the second person to help lift and install the bolt's extend frame and extension main screen frame. The failure to do so may result in serious injury. During installation of the screen extension plate, sure that the spacers from the plate spacers on the studs are not allowed to move the form on of all of them. The stud of the spacers are plate. And for plate or space move, then return, not return to the initial position. Screen, ex, ex, screen ex, extension plate, expansion plate, and as an alignment is required. Move the self locking nut 27 with the washer 28 with the screen extension plate 29. Move the spacer 30 and 31 with the plate space um, um, and the plate spacer 32 with the position screen extension plate. When that will help the second person raise the second screen extension plate up the extension screen frame. Stick for the extension plate burner vent and with the extension screen burner vent and secure with the place in the flat washer 28 and self locking nut 27. All right, after installation, screen extension plate, visually check the alignment of the screen extension plate, left and the right extension screen plates. If necessary, move the plate space for 32 to ensure the bolt plates are flush and the plates cannot be all aligned together to notify the supervisor. Two, visually check the alignment of the screen extension plate, 29 extension screen plate, 33, remove the place or space, plate space for 32, but the necessary to make the two plates aligned with the plate cannot be aligned, remove the plate space from the notify of the supervisor. Extension screen burner vent. Extension burner plate vent. One person should hold the front end with another, hold the rear end, lift, uh, lift on the bolt ex extension frame 34, up in the extension screen frame 6, install the two one and a half inch hex head cap screw 35, flat washer 36 in the holes shown, install cover plate 20 on the end of the screen, extension plate 29, you put the lock washer 19, hex head cap screw 19, or 18, install two foot, one foot auger fender assembly, you put the following steps. First, identify left and right auger with the field, extent, um, field fender extension to be installed. Left two extension to have the bearing amount with the um, amount of the outboard left side with the extension right side with two foot extension with the bearing of the amount of the outboard right side with the extension. Remove the hex nut 46 lock washer 47 the hex side cap screw 48 screwing the shaft cover to 49 and remove the shaft cover. The auger extension must be installed with the same spiral direction of the mating uh, auger so the shaft of the failure to install the auger extension properly will cover the board distribution of the paving material along with the length of the screw with the result in poor paving. Rotating auger extension, two foot auger with the hander, hand, fender extension, 50 with the sum of the mounting hardware auger filled on um, flight is oriented and in with the same direction as the mounting the hardware, the mating auger shaft with the fender of the spiral direction auger, the mounting of the spiral direction with the mating auger shaft. Remove the hex nut lock, 51 lock washer, 52 shaft cover, the 53 flat washer, 54 hex head cap screw, 55 end with the auger extension shaft. Six, remove the hex head cap screw, 56 flat washer, 57 hex head nut, 58 mounting and location, two foot auger fender extension, 50. All right, to avoid personal injury, do not attempt to lift and install the two-foot auger fender extension alone. Two-foot auger and fender extension weighs approximately 120 pounds. Always use the second person to help with the two-foot extension playing um, during installation. Failure to do so may result in self-injury, serious injury. Uh, with the help of the second person, install the two-foot auger and fender extension of 50 with the female the end of the male end of the mating auger shaft with the auger extension fender of the mounting strip of the paving machine mainframe. Install the hex head cap screw 56 flat washer 57 hex nut 58 attached the auger extension fender to the mainframe of the paving machine. Install the hex head cap screw 55 with the washer 54 shaft cover 53 lock washer 52 and hex nut 51. Tighten the hex nut 51 and 58. Install so strike off extension and using um, assembly using the following steps. Install strike off extension assembly 37 using the hex head cap screw 38 flat washer 39 self locking lock locking lock, locking nuts 40. Visually check the see if the bottom of the edge of the bolt 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 on strike off extension assembly plate is even with the bottom of the screen extension strike up plate. 
Strike off plate. Lock loose in the hex nut cap. Um, screw 41. The self locking up 42. Light, light, line up with the self. Um, so strike out and strike out. Start. Strike off plate support 43 with a hole in the bolt on bolt on screen extension 34 and sold the flat washer 44 head hex head hex head cap screw 45 hex, um, tighten the hex head cap screw 41 and 45. Install end gate and using the following steps um, avoid personal injury do not attempt the install lift the install the end gate supporting end gate alone end gate support arms that weigh approximately 126 pounds. Two second murder results to help lift and install the end gate support arm and ensure the uh, end gate second ex ex screen extension failure to do so may result in serious injury. Alright, with the help of the second person lift of the end gate and the end gate support with the arm the, on the bolt screen extension frame and the insert of the end gate mounting um, tab on the bolt screen extension frame, um, secure the end gate support washer with the flat washer 17 hex head cap screw 16. Carefully level the end gate and connect the chain of the four to the end gate handle of the bolt. Bolt the end gate support arm seven to the strike off the extension plant assembly thirty seven. Use the hex head cap assembly four screw fourteen spacer fifteen. Light washer thirteen and self locking nut twelve. Tighten the hex head cap screw forty five. The hex head cap screw forty one and self locking nut forty two. Connect the feed limited switch connector to the one uh, one to the connector over the rear wall tractor. All right, match up left and right foot, one foot auger extension with the correct right side of the mating auger shift visually match with the um, spiral each of the one foot auger um, extension with the two foot auger shaft on both left and right sides. Placing the one foot auger extension mounting hardware that oriented with the same direction mounting hardware with the two foot auger shaft of the spiral with the auger the fire and flight does not match with the two foot auger shaft of the front end with the foot auger shaft that may be compared on the longs. On the opposite side, left hand auger extension direct, direction of spiral auger flights, the right hand is the auger extension mounting hardware. Locate the field mount auger extension 59, remove the hex head nut for 60 with the lock wire 61, shaft the uh, cover the 61, 2, the washer 63, and hex head cap screw 64. No auger extension must be installed with the same spiral direction as the two foot auger shaft. Failure to install the auger extension properly will cause poor distribution paving material along with the length of the screen and result in poor paving. 12. Rotate the auger extension so the mounting hardware of the auger flight for the orientation with the same direction of the mounting hardware with the mating auger shaft. Ensure that the spiral direction of the auger flights match the spiral direction of the two foot auger shaft. Install female auger extension assembly. <coughs> 59. On the male end of the two foot auger shaft, the head cap screw with the 64 flash washer, 63 shaft cover 2. 62 lock washer 61 hex co cover hex nut 60 install shaft cover 49 even the hex head cap screw 48 lock washer 47 hex nut 46 remove the hex head cap screw 65 of the flat washer 66 hex nut 67 mounting hardware location extension 68 Install the extension fender to the hex um, 68 using the hex head cap screw 65 lock washer 67 66 flex nut 67 hex tight and the hex nut 60 and 67 Start paving machine paragraph 210 play for throttle on the switch and max to it um Position, place the screen lift switch in the raise and position, raise the screen fully up, raise the support blocks under each of the main um, um, screen. Use care retraction extension screen, both on screen extension installed. Maximum retraction is one foot on each side of damage. End gates will result in the extension screen is retracted too much. Retract both left and right extension screens per paragraph 219.10. Ensure the screen travel lock valve is open. Place the screen level switch down, float position, lower the screen until the screen rests on the ground. And shut down the paper machine paragraph 211 steps A through G. Um, 26 to 226 8. Um, bolt on screen extension um, bolt removal with two um, persons required to remove the bolt on screen extension start the paper machine play for the throttle in max position place the lifting switch over the raised position priorities of the screen fully up. Um, fully extend both left and right extension screen per paragraph 219 play with the wood support back blocks under each of the um, end of the wood screen board support must be 9 inches high ensure the screen travel lock valve is open place screen lift switch and then down floating position lower the screen until the screen fault rests in the wooden block shut down the paving machine paragraph 211 steps a through g Remove the one foot, two foot auger and fender assemblies using the following steps. Remove the extension fender 68 with the move the hex nut 67, flat washer 66, hex head cap screw 65, hex head cap screws from flat washers, hex nuts, extension fenders, and um, mount holes after removal. Move the hex nut 64, walk washer 47, the hex head cap screw 48, shaft cover 49. Move the hex nut 60, lock washer 61, shaft cover the 62, flat washer 63, hex, hex, and remove the hex head cap screw 64, rug extension 6059. Please the hex head cap screw, flat washer, shaft cover, lock washer, hex nut auger extension assembly after removal. Remove the hex nut lock washer, shaft cover, flat washer, hex nut head cap screw. To avoid personal injury, do not attempt to lift and remove the two foot auger fender extension alone. Two uh, auger fender extension weighs approximately 126 pounds. You'll 
will receive the second person to help them hold the two-foot extension party. Removal failure to do so may result in serious injury. With the help of the second birth, remove the hex note with the 58 with the flat washer, 7 with the hex note with the cap screw with the 56 with the two foot auger with the fender extension, 50 with the plate with the hex head cap screw with the flat washer, hex note 2 with the auger with the extension fender mount with the holes and removal of the plate with the hex head cap screw, 55 flat washer, 54 shaft cup with the 53 lock washer, 52 hex note 51 on two foot auger with the fender extension auger shaft with the removal of the install of the shaft cup with the 49 on the main auger shaft with the screw with the hex head cap screw, 48 lock washer, 47 with the hex note 46. Unscrew the disconnect feed limit with a switch connected to the rear of the wall or rear of the tractor. Remove the assembly using the following. To avoid personal injury, do not attempt to lift and remove the engine gate alone. End gate weight of oh, approximately 126 pounds. Second person to help remove the end gate failure to do so will result in serious injury. One, release the end gate hand level the two the hand levers two, then lower the end gate, unchain the hooks four, the end gate hand level the two, and with the help of the another person allow the end gate to allow the um lower enough the end gate mounting tab with the five to clear the bottom bolting screen the extension frame for thirty four during the removal of the end gate end gate support on uh, arm seven, remove the self locking nut twelve, flat washer thirteen, hex head cap screw fourteen, spacers fifteen. With the help of the second person, remove the hex head cap screw sixteen and the flight washer seventeen, securing the end gate support arm seven on the bolted screen and extension frame thirty four. Warning to avoid personal injury, do not attempt to lift or remove the end gate support. End gate alone. End gate weighs approximately 126 pounds. Use the second person to help to remove the end gate support arm of the end gate frame with the screen. It's going to create a um, screen frame and then failure to do so may res result in serious injury. With the help of the second person, lift the um, end gate with no um, support and the end gate with the bolted on screen extension 34. If they on the ground out of the way, remove the hex head cap screws from um, 18 lock washers, 19 cover plate 20. Remove the strike off the extension plate with the new following. Remove the hex head cap screw 45 and the lot flat washer 44. Remove the self locking nuts 40, 40 and washers 39. Head cap screw 38. Um, remove the strike off the extension 32. Assembly and 37. The hand uh, hardware used uh, during the installation at end gate. Assembly reinstall hardware to strike off the extension assembly 37. Remove the bolt on screen extension frame. You the following steps. To avoid personal injury, do not attempt to lift the remove of the bolt on the screen extension frame. Bolt on screen extension frame weighs approximately 57 pounds. You for the second person to hold the held, help hold the extension frame during the removal of the hair to do so may result in serious injury. Will help the second person to support the bolt on screen extension 34. Remove the hex head cap screw 35 and white washer 36. With one person holding the front end, with another holding the rear end, lift the remove of the bolt and screen extension frame 34 from the paving machine. Note caution: During removal of the screen extension plate, uh, ensure that the space within the space is around the studs and ensure that the screening extension extension plate was from the frame and the down allowed to move fall from the stud and lift the spacer. Of the plate and the spacers are moved and not returned to the initial position on the screen plate. The screen alignment is required. All right, with the help of the second person, remove the screen extension plate with the 29, remove the self locking nut 27, flat washer 28, carefully lower and remove the screen extension plate with the extension screen frame. So you secure the spacer 30 and 31, and plate with spacer 32, screen extension plate 3029, with the flat washer 28, self locking nut 27. We, um, when reinstalling the screen extension plate, spacers and plate must be installed at the same location when they are removed. Caution. Do not, during installation over extension screen plate and ensure the space for the plate space is all around the studs and ensure the outer extension screen with the plate with the frame and allow it to move and the fall from the stud. If the spacers are plate plate, spacers are moved, not return to the initial position screen plate, a screen alignment is required. Five, remove the self locking nuts and flat washers 40 to 23 with the outer extension screen with 21, spacers 24 and 25, and spacer 26. Um, plate spacer 26 should be placed in an outer extension screen plate. Raise the outer extension screen plate 21, the extension screen frame 6, and with the screw of the flat washer 23, self locking nose 22, and show the cover plate 20, you for the lock washer 19, head hex head cap screws 18, and show the end gate assembly, you for the following steps. 1. Remove the hex head 8, and lock washer 9, flat washer 10, and cylinder extension 11. Warning to avoid personal energy, do not attempt to install the end gate supporting arm and end gate alone. End gate and support alone. End gate, or end gate weighs approximately 126 pounds. Second person to help, um, hold the end gate support within the end gate during the installation failure to do so may result in serious injury. Or with the help of the second person, lift the end gate, end gate, um, end gate three with the end gate support arm, seven on the extension screen, screen frame, five, six with the insert of the end gate, end gate mounting lab, um, tab five the extension screen frame, and secure with the flat washer seventeen, hex head cap screw sixteen, install the hex head cap screws fourteen, spacers fifteen, flat washer thirteen, self locking nuts twelve, carefully level the end gate three, um, and connect with the chains four with the end gate hand lever two, install the flat washer ten, lock washer nine, hex head nut eight. And on cylinder extension rod 11 and tighten the hex nut. 
All right, connect the feed limit to the switch operator. Um, connect it to the connector of the rear wall tractor. Start the pavement machine. Place the throttle and sc- and switch in max position. Place the screed switch in the raised in position. Place the raised foot and screed fully up. Remove the floating support blocks under each of the main screed. Retract both and right instruction screed um, between paragraph 219. Ensure the um, screed travel the lock through while valve is open. Place the screed lift and switch in the down float position. Lower the screed until the screed rests on the ground. Shut down the paving machine. Paragraph 211 through steps A through G. All right, pinning the tow point. Um, the tow point. The, the tow point of the paving machine can be converted by um, being hydraulically controlled by a mechanically controlled pinning of the tow point of the tractor by a thickness of over the six inch and eight inches is achieved with the hydraulic adjusting tow points only to the tow point allowed with a mechanical madness thickness of 68 inches using the thickness of the control. Shut down the paving machine, remove the key for the ignition switch per paragraph 211. Accept the paragraph um, toolbox paragraph 331. Retrieve that um, tool, two hex. Screwed hack, toe, ar- toe arms and pen lens attached with a hex head cap screw for inches to set with the toolbox. Procedure of pinning the toe, toe point with some of the both and left and right screwed tool arms, but one side with the machine on top and the left side with the machine as illustrated in the procedure. To the, use the wrench, remove the hex head cap screw, one of the toe, all the clevis spins, two with the bottom of the cylinder clevis head. Pull the for, forward and low spin, pull point cylinder to the slide of the um, cylinder clevis and head from the screw to toe arm. Pull the two from the top retaining can, pins, clips from the top of the clevis pin. Six, remove the clevis pin. Six, pull down on the toe point cylinder, disengage the foot mounting bracket. Seven, um, pull the toe point cylinder three backwards, secure the cylinder to the side axis door. Eight, and look by clipping the retaining pins five through the top of the bottom clevis head with attaching gift the grill and side access cover. Use the thick, um, screed thickness control nine to allow the to line the bottom locking pin. Ten, low the arm support blade. Eleven, with the slot hole in, um, slot hole in the screw, screwed toe arm. Four, into the lock pin. Twelve, in the bottom of the whole toe, the arm support blade. Eleven, slotted hole in the screwed toe arm. Four. Use the wrench, install the hex head cap screw 13 in the toe arm support blade, screw the toe arm tight, and repeat the pin, um, pinning procedure for the opposite toe point cylinder 5, 3. And put the wrench and set back into the toolbox, secure the toolbox, paragraph 331. All right, unpinning the toe point. The toe point with the pavement machine can be averted by being mechanically controlled with the hydraulic control with the oven pinning the toe point with the tractor pinning the toe point. The cylinder maximum thickness is six inches is achieved with the hydraulic adjustment of the toe point cylinders. Shut down the pavement machine, remove the key for the ignition switch, exit with the toolbar, retrieve the wrench set with them in the toolbox, proceed through unpinning the toe main um, point, same bolt with both left and right screws with the toe arms, unpin one side of the machine at a time for the clarity of the left side of the machine as illustrated in this procedure. You have the wrench, remove the hex head crew with 13, and if necessary, adjust the thickness for the control of 9, remove the load and screw toe arm 4 on the toe arm locking pin from the 12, lock, move the locking pin 12, and then locking pin hole 10, um, toe arm support, and the toe arm and support blade 11. Hold the toe point cylinder 3 on the pole, retaining clip to 5 of the remove of the cylinder from the side cover their axis, 8, line the pin hole, um, line up the hole to the top cylinder club that's held ahead of the mounting bracket. Seven. Install the clevis pin. Six. Retain the clips and secure the top sil- clevis head. Put the bo- um, pull the bottom cylinder clevis head and down and line up the clevis mounting bowl on the screw toe arms. Install the clevis pin two with the hex head cap screw one. Use the wrench and tighten the hex head cap screw. Repeat the unpinning procedure for the opposite toe point cylinder um, three. Put the wrench and set and screw toe arm lock pins and back in the toolbox. Secure the toolbox. Paragraph three three one. Or right, section five. Operation under unusual condition.